The secret life of an accused killer is new tonight at 5.30. He was living what appeared to be a law-abiding life. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back, I'm Dick Brennan, in for Maurice Dubois. That Long Island man stands accused of two murders two decades ago. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has more now on the Suffolk County carpenter suspected of being a serial killer. Bidrolf was named the accused killer in a cold case murder. He was plucked from a typical suburban life. A husband, father of two boys, one college bound, a carpenter with friendly neighbors. We both became friends quickly, and uh, he's a nice guy. He has a nice wife, good kids. He did my upstairs bathroom. George O'Toole says he never suspected the man, but then with homes in Manorville acres apart, surrounded by woods, you don't really know your neighbors. Believe me, he was pleasant. And that was the crazy part of it, that he really fooled us. But prosecutors say you can't fool DNA. Bitrolf is now charged with two murders and is a suspect in a third. Three women beaten, strangled, and left nude in unique poses 20 years ago. The case cracked after Bitrolf's brother, arrested in a recent unrelated crime, was required to submit a DNA sample. We now have positive scientific DNA confirmation that the brother, John Bitteroff, is the killer. An avid hunter with a house upstate, an animal said, lover, the guy always hosting it. family in a home he built himself. Good father. He took him for karate classes. He took him for baseball. He took him for football. His uncle is floored by the arrest. Always helped everybody. It's just unbelievable. Nobody could believe it. As much a surprise to the victims' families who never heard of Fitzroy till now. Did you ever think this day would come? No, I really, please. Neighbors say he's a happy-go-lucky guy, and they hope there's been a mistake. But prosecutors say there's more than a DNA match. There's other evidence linking him to the killings, which they have yet to detail. In Yapank, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And Suffolk police are asking anyone with information about Bitrolf or the victims in the 1990s to please contact them.